The U.S. and other government activities, a decision that creates a very volatile relationship with his right-hand man, never have a bunch of internet chats and direct messages been so tense and vexed. Good enough to join us uh, today. Uh, I ah! The film that the game's filming. Yeah. You reach out, rightfully, to Emily and Nathan to perhaps discuss whatever you might discuss, and he waits and contacts you the day before filming is to begin with an email that takes a bit of a shot at the script and the film in general. It was a hard thing to take, but it quite within his rights to reply since the film is based on his character and events uh, that he was part of. So and I, I wanted that response. I wanted to, to gauge his feelings. I was really just approaching to meet him, but um, he felt very strongly and put it in a very charming, polite and erudite email that he felt the film was going to be uh, poisonous to both him and his cause. And I wrote an equally long and hopefully polite and charming response back saying why I thought the opposite. Um, and it sort of solidified. It gave me, it gave me an objective of, and a sort of view on, on his predicament, but also why I wanted to do the film. It kind of made it clear to me why the story I thought was very important and a lot less negative than, than he was fearing. Um, I do want to actually let's take a look at the clip before uh, we take another look at you. Okay. Quit winning every formation in war. Which goes beyond any short term alliance we have with the Middle East. Do you want to throw the war under this new fear that some U.S. government informant might come to harm? These are human beings, Julian. And their lives are at stake. What about the lives of the soldiers and the civilians involved in these conflicts? They're squads. Unreported civilian casualties. Countless incidents of friendly fire. This is information the world needs to know. You mentioned it yourself. A very nuanced look at a very complex a series of issues here. The, the logline asks us, Julian Assange, here we're a traitor. I wonder what's your thought. I think it's much more complex than that. You know, you can't really, you can't really vilify or, or, or demonize or, or indeed lie like someone over here. You, it, it, it's a complex look at complex characters in a very complex situation. I think history will judge, and I think we're still in the middle of it. Uh, Miss Hanley was Snowden and revelations about NSA and DCHQ, and, uh, you know, what I wanted to bring to the portrait was to try and look a little bit behind the public persona. There's a, a footage of footage online, and even some scenes which you could compare from the film to, you know, real life YouTube footage of, uh, of dramatized. So in order to do that, you have to empathize a little bit. So of course, I kind of went towards his point of view where he's playing him. But um, I think uh, it's a great debating point. And The Fifth Estate is a film that should just start that debate. And as he says at the end of the film in the code, you know, the only truth you can really seek out is your own. Is your own. Yeah. Uh, there's so much to get to. I wish we had more time. But I do just want to say, fanboy, I did, uh, on my trip to Afghanistan last week, watch Star Trek twice. And then seeing this last night, you disappeared to everything. Oh, you are brilliant. Thank you so much. Everything. Aww. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's the fifth estate. It's in theaters everywhere next Friday, October 18th. Go see it. And uh, coming up here, Carrie Washington on her star-studded new passion project. Go. Baby deserve more screen time.